And the closer, you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. The closer responded back with, no, I haven't received instructions yet. When is this one closing? What? Okay, um, just uploaded the carpet cleaning contractor video uh, from the Friday before we moved into the new house and now I am running to grab a sign in the lockbox and then go to closing, uh, closing from that pre-signing that I went on yesterday. So super thankful for that. Sold another one of our investors properties yesterday. Sold in two days. God is great. God is definitely watching out for us. So, um, and that sold above asking price. So that's awesome. That, that contracted above asking price. So that is awesome. A multiple offer situation. He priced it right. Pricing is key. Even with the investment properties, your know, pricing is key on everything. Like if a t-shirt were a hundred dollars and you just wanted a regular t-shirt, you wouldn't spend a hundred dollars on it when there's a five dollar t-shirt sitting right next to it. Housing's the same. If there's, you know, three or four houses in a neighborhood at X amount of dollars and you price your house at X times 1.1, you know, 10% over market, that house isn't going to sell. It's going to sit there, become stale. The days on the market are going to go up, 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 up until it gets priced correctly. And usually that house with high days on the market sells 10% under market. You have to price your house at market. You'll get multiple offers, especially in today's market, and you'll get to choose which one is best for you. Because I've even had sellers choose an offer that made them $5,000 less, but it was cash. So because it was cash, it, they, it was a quick close, they took that one and made $5,000 less. They didn't have to worry about lending or, or appraisals or anything like that. They just took the cash offer and closed. So real estate's very interesting. Um, every day is something different, something new. And yeah, that's it. Oh wow, there's a crazy, there's a, in front of me, you can't see, can you see that white truck? There's a statue in the back of it. There's a statue in the back of that white truck. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so super thankful about this. And I will see you guys when I go pick up the lockbox and sign. Okay, it's closing day. Um, picking up the sign lockbox. You guys have been watching us the whole time on this property. You saw that God blessed us. Sold it in uh, 11 days, I think. Multiple offers. Grabbing the sign lockbox right now and then going to closing. Uh, closing it out and the sellers are going to get their checks. So I'm um, super excited. Give it a thumbs up. Like the video. Uh, right now it's a little windy outside. So hopefully the phone, um, I hope the phone compensates for that. Hey, Evan, I'll see you at 4.30 tonight, okay? Um, so happy to see you watching. 
I'm gonna grab the sign lock box and I'll be right back guys and I hope like I said the phone compensates for the wind okay let's go get this stuff Now we got that done. Hey babe, I love you Aubrey. Um, now we got that done, I'm gonna grab the lockbox and then head over to the closing. I'll see everybody on the next video. Give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with all your friends thinking about buying or selling some homes or land in Oklahoma. Give me a call, 405 7965 Josh Barnett, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate Paramount. Have a good one guys. Okay, you're not gonna believe this one. You're not, you're not gonna believe this one. Um, just closed. Uh, Rich Haven, super thankful for that. God is great. Just had another closing. I had to um, ask Paula, she's a transaction coordinator. If you don't have a transaction coordinator and you're an agent in Oklahoma, reach out to Paula Marshall. She's taking on new customers and she is amazing. Um, Paula followed up on a settlement statement for me because I've got a closing in three days. Another one. You know, God's great. He keeps blessing our family with all this business. And the closer. You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. The closer responded back with, no, I haven't received instructions yet. When is this one closing? What? What? The closer. The person in charge of the closing. And then they said, I'll follow up with the lender on the instructions. Like, first off, the lender should have sent it over already. And then the closer should know when her closings are closing. Now, granted, it's probably busy this year. It's probably busy right now. She probably just type that email without asking. But if an agent's following up on a settlement statement, typically they're not following up until the day it's due or maybe the day before it's due. But I don't think a closer, it's not my, I'm not a closer. I'm not in the closing business. I'm a real estate agent. I market and sell properties that's what I do but when a closer asks the agent when's it closing it's like come on come on really really you should know that it's on your schedule like we know it's on your schedule oh man but anyways I just had to share that with you guys um, not talking bad about anyone just just an what type moment you know what I mean just to like come on don't ask me a question that you're in charge of knowing the answer for. Seriously? Come on. Okay. Um, going to go drop off the packet to the seller. Going to talk with them about some promotional items and stuff like that. If you guys need any promotional products, any postcards, any mailings, anything, flyers for your listings, anything like that, you've got to go buy PostNet off of Rockwell and Hefner and talk to Tom or Joyce. They'll hook you up. They're amazing people. They've been doing my promotional products and my paper and my printing, my postcards, everything. I'm going to say at least over seven years, maybe eight years, maybe eight years. They're amazing, amazing people. And you cannot beat their prices. Vistaprint doesn't beat their prices. They are amazing local company, unique promotional products, PostNet off of Hefner and Rockwell. Tell Tom or Joyce that I sent you there and they'll take care of you. All right, guys, Josh Barnett, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate. Just had to share that crazy email response that I got. Um, blew me away. Just had to share that with you. All right, see you guys on the next clip.
Okay, folks, Josh Barnett, Better Hopes of Garden Real Estate Paramount. Um, just got through showing this cool little property out in the country. It's got 10 acres with it, and uh, it just needs a total rehab. So let's go take a look at it real quick so you guys can see what it is. And uh, yeah, it's just, it gives you an idea of the properties that uh, you never know what you're going to show. You just never do. So, got a little hornet here on the door. So we will uh, be careful about that guy right there. Don't want to get in their way. And uh, let's go take a look at the property. Wow. Okay. So kitchen. There's your kitchen right there. Got some. Got a hornet following me. Utility room. Living room. Right there. Um, this is an example of a property that definitely needs rehabbed. Oh, there's only a minute limiter on these videos. Okay. So this is a property that I just got done showing um, out in the country. Needs a little rehab work, but you just never know what type of property you're going to show as a real estate agent. Just thought I'd share this property with you guys. Josh Barnett, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate, Paramount. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, give me a call. I'd be happy to help out. 405-315-7965. Have a great one, guys. Bye.